Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Funko Rebel. Welcome to another unboxing episode. Today I have a few boxes that just came in. Uh, like Freddy's Box. Chrono Toys. Poptopia. And Spastic Plastic. That's my first time ordering from Freddy's Box and Spastic Plastic. Uh, I never ordered from Freddy's Box. I've seen some YouTubers uh, opening them. I've seen a lot of comments being hit from that box. Uh, it's about, I think, a $10 or $15 box. I can't remember. I need to look it up. Uh, and I saw a lot of people getting hit comments out of it might as well just take a walk to GameStop and get my comments there um, let's see do I score a common or do I score something higher in their uh, level hit let's check it out let's open it up I never really this is my first time ordering from them I wanted to try it out and let's see maybe they're gonna be my new box uh, I ordered from Monthly Pops. Uh, that was my first time, and I got a really good hit. Uh, Cobra Kai, Johnny Lawrence, which the PPG value is about 40 uh, because a lot of them haven't been shipped because of the pandemic, so a lot of things were still pre-order. And a lot of people haven't gotten them, so they're so well after Pops that the PPG value just skyrocketed them. Regular common pop. Uh, but it's pretty good because they do do Comic Cons when they're not taping the next um, Cobra Kai. So you do meet them at cons. I like Cobra Kai. I loved the original Karate Kid. It's one of my favorites. To me, it's on my classic list like Jaws, Crow, um, The Rock with uh, Nicolas Cage. Um, I have so many lists that are on, on my personal classic list. Uh, Jaws, I watch it every Memorial Day. That is a must for me. Ghostbusters, the original Ghostbusters, those are pretty cool. I can't wait until the new movie comes out. Supposedly, these are the grandkids uh, that they find everything um, that the Ghostbusters had. It's stored. Somehow, some ghosts get um, loose. So, the grandkids now take over as uh, the Ghostbusters but we only have three out of the original four because one of them passed away uh, I believe the guy the character who played Egon his name uh, escapes my mind uh, but let's see what phrase box has for me usually I saw in the videos of other youtubers they put a card it has I think four levels common exclusive chase and then a higher pop it has different colors so let's see what I have just got back from GameStop. I didn't videotape in there because they really had nothing. All they had was commons, a few of their exclusives, and some old uh, 2018 Comic Con exclusives, which was from uh, Disney Tales, uh, Tailspin, Shai Khan. They had one trooper from uh, Rico from uh, Starship Troopers. A lot of commons. Um, there was a lot of wild things. That's the first time I've seen wild thing from uh, Cleveland Indians, the movie. On the shelf. I was looking for the chase. They had so many. I was really hoping I would have found a chase in a while, but eventually I didn't. I just came home so hot outside. Uh, I just wanted to do the video real quick, and then I'm going to upload it and relax. But let's open up Freddy's box, and it's a common. And it's funny, too, because I was just at... See, this is the level black box gives you a common uh, funny thing. I was just at GameStop and I had the Java in my hand. Uh, the same one exactly too. That's the funny part. I put them down because I really don't want to collect any of these. I just want to get my hands on a Mandalorian. They did have Mandalorian. Then I have one from the animated, but I didn't pick it up. It was one guy, the line was pretty long, it said five people in the store, 
and it was like 10 and, and there was one guy working and he was taking forever I just browsed around and left uh, but this is the Java uh, Star Wars with the yellow label it has his yellow eyes he has like the torch gun in his hand the box art I mean it's pretty minty and you could tell this was taken out of a Funko uh, retailer box that the store got in and they just put it in inside the mystery box so I guess they do see it they don't do it the night before I guess they do it one day pack it took a little while for them to ship but the pop is in great condition there is no stress marks no bents it's really nice detail pop it's pretty cool uh, let's open up chrono toys let's see what chrono toys had um, they did still have a few of the clearance items like the statue I wanted of Batgirl they actually had two one was open and one was sealed on top but like I said it was only one guy and I didn't really want to bother waiting until he got on top of the ladder it's still there I mean he had two I'll go back there in a week it's chrono this is chrono toys I actually like chrono toys as well Oh, look at this. This is funny. I was literally looking at GameStop's website because they had, uh, I believe, buy one, get one 50% off. That might be the action figures or they had something with Funko Pop. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I was looking to buy him because he's played by Harry Collin. He played Superman, so he's a favorite actor. Uh, but I do own his Superman Pop, his Superman figures. Uh, but this is cool. I heard pretty good things about this show. I heard some girls went crazy for him when he took off his shirt. Like, he's really built. Like, he put on a lot of muscle since uh, Man of Steel. Uh, but this is pretty cool pop. That's his box art. I don't think there's a chase in this series. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't watched it. I might have to watch it uh, just to see. No, not because he takes off his shirt, guys. You can see that in Man of Steel. Uh, but I heard pretty good things about the show. So I gotta check it out. See how it is. Alright guys, on to Poptopia. Uh, on Spastic Plastic uh, is not Funko. It's, um, I grabbed their um, mystery box. They, they have a, a few mystery boxes on their website. And they had the Funko which usually sells out quick because they usually do damaged or not damaged they do the grail on fail then they have a blind bag Funko wise and then they have certain something else and then they have a designer toys blind box which I grabbed uh, I seen grown kids TVs TV grown kids TV they had it on their channel and they really had this really cool bear, which he was like uh, a skater kind of deal. And he had a backpack. And I was like, all right, well, cool. I mean, 49 bucks, they they scored pretty much about $150 value out of that $50 mystery box from Designer Toys from Spastic Plastic. And I said, you know what? Let me try. Maybe I'll score the bear. Hopefully, I have the bear. Um it's the decent size for that bear and probably could be something else they do have in the description it could be from one item from designer toys or it could be many and that's for $49.99 so when they say many that's a pretty good deal but it cannot always be accurate of size of as the bear which maybe was about this big or a little bit bigger in this box um, could be like other little knickknacks like little blind bags size of a funko mini um so it could be something like that so i said you know what for 50 bucks it's worth to try it's a designer toys usually those designer toys their value are like ridiculous a little bit more than funko and you can't go wrong. I mean, 50 bucks, you could score one major designer toy, the value of $150, or you could score multiples of little items and still pass the 50 bucks. You still get your money back. So it's a gamble of that. And I said, let me try. I'm going to try Spastic Plastic. 
plastic spastic hold on guys I'm so tired it's, it's so hot out spastic pops which is they collect the, um, the series okay this is poptopia I see it here I dropped the box Rick and Marty I already scored this out of poptopia box about a few about a month ago it's the Walmart exclusive. It's with the floating crystal. Marty uh, floating with the crystal. It's a cool pop. It's a Walmart exclusive. Doesn't have that much value to it. But it's something. Something to make the video. Alright, so now we're going to go with the uh, spastic pops. They're right here in North Virginia. I got this uh, the other day. And I said I wanted to hold it back so I have more contents for everybody else to make a second video. And I do have certain things coming in from Hot Topic, Funko Shop. I'm still waiting for the order for Biggie, which they had a, a sale on the 10-inch pops. My nephew wanted Biggie, so I got that for him for a graduation gift. Uh, he graduated uh, grade school. He's going to go to junior high. Can you believe it? I'm already getting old. Um, so I, he wanted that and I said, ah, why not? It's on sale now. I, you know, I got it. They still haven't processed it. It's taking them a while for some reason. I think the website messed them up because they, I don't think they even got the alert on certain things. And they emailed them and they went into my account and they saw that I have the order and then they try to process it as fast as they can. Uh, I also sent them the email and the picture of the Zion pop that I got the other day that I opened for you guys yesterday. Was it yesterday? Well, yeah, it was yesterday that I made the video. Is a little dent. I'm still waiting to hear back from them. But let's open up Spastic Pops. Let's see what design, this designer box toy uh, mystery box has for me. Be cool if I score that bear. That bear was pretty cool. Um, okay. Spastic Collectibles, that's right, Spastic Collectibles, I don't know why on the label it says Pops. Spastic Collectibles, sticker, awesome. It's my first sticker from them. Uh, I believe this is my first time ordering from them, and I gotta say, their shipping was quick. I got a tracking within a half hour. It was ridiculous. I was like, wow, I thought they, at first when I got an email from them, I thought they canceled my order by some reason. Because within a half hour, it's like, okay that's fast either they canceled my order or it's tracking and then when i opened it up it was my tracking and i was like wow already already shipped i was like it's great okay so this is my invoice you put that there i believe this is what the value of the design of toys is they scotch taped it so i will find out after i pull out the stuff it says values okay so it says values on the thing. Really well packed bubbles. So I can't really see anything. So something that looks like Japanese. But we're going to open it up for you guys. I'm going to remove this. Okay. So it, it I have about four items in here. Which is pretty cool. This is 50 bucks. If you go look at it. In certain these toys that are in this box. Just alone. Are priced over ten to fifteen dollars, twenty dollars the most, because one of them I just saw I think is a kid robot. Really packed in there. Okay, uh, I've seen these before. These were like the Marvel. Uh, this was the Marvel Mummy World. These were I think these were priced I believe about ten to fifteen. You got a question mark. I, see, I guess that's a variant. Um, I'm not going to open them because I don't collect them. So I will trade these with somebody that I know that does collect them. And it's a blind box. So you don't know what figure you get in here. Do not miss your superhero. Make your own hero. A Marvel mummy with a mystery sticker and accessories. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'll open up after I'm done that paper that's going to say the value of the toys. Okay. Uh, this is Kid Robot. These are uh, like the Dunny. Out of War. 
this is another blind box this actually i will open because i do actually i wanted one of these so this one i will open and we're going to see together what we get out of this box i actually wanted one so this is fine for me opening it okay box is empty i collected these in the past but then i sold them off because when i was moving selling my house so i wanted less stuff to pack so i sold off certain things that didn't meet my collection okay um comes with a card TikTok. okay comes with a little accessory danger may blow up <laughs> Oh, this is cool. This is actually like a uh, a bomb, and he is he is. It doesn't say, so I guess this is the question mark. The question mark is just question, question, question. They don't know what number he is. And you see here, there's a little... Snug. But this is what he looks like when you put him on. It's a bomb. And you just put that accessory in the front. He might blow up. Danger might blow up. So it will look something like this. It's pretty cool. I actually like it. That, that that is a good deal um these are probably anywhere from six to ten dollars so it's a good value on this it's just pretty, it's um these are somewhat like the uh jankies there's something something like that similar to that next one looks like a japanese sushi fish this is the three eye monster kid robot from the Simpson. This is the three the three eye fish that was on the Simpsons that they try to make a sushi. The box art is like ridiculous cool. Sorry for the little bit of glare. Um, this to me I think is maybe 15, 20 bucks. So right now it's kid robot. So this is a very popular um, thing. Again, I'm not going to open it because it's not going to be part of my collection because it has nothing to do with my collection. I used to have Simpsons, but again, that's another thing of collection-wise that I sold off while I, had, I needed to move when I sold my house. Uh, so this is pretty cool. This will be up for trade or something. And last but not least, it's another big item. Another thing from uh, Kid Robot. It's uh, da -da 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 -da. number seven from here. It looks like a, some type of an armadillo kind of thing. Yeah, it's a uh, horrible armadillo vinyl art toy. I would say this is probably about 20 to $25, maybe more. I could be wrong. Uh, I don't collect the stuff, but... This box was cool to try. It was my first time buying from Spastic Collectibles. And I have to say for 50 bucks, I think I got over the value of 50 or maybe just past 50. Uh, definitely, definitely past my money's back. Way, way, way more than I actually paid for the box. So let's see the value of each item. And if you like it, you can go over to Spastic Collectibles. That's where I got the box from, Spatsit Collectibles, Designer Toys uh, Blind Box. So this tells you for each one. Okay, the Sushi Fish, I was right on the right on the nose, 20 bucks. So right here, I already got half of my money back, $20. Paid $50 for it. I think it was free shipping, if I'm not mistaken. So I got $20, I got half, almost half of my money back. The kit, the Amadillo is actually 
$34, $33.99. So I already got $4 back more of my money that I spent. So that's great. The Kid Robot Out of War is $10. And the... And the other one, the single box out of war, which is the one that I showed you guys, is 10 bucks. And the Marvel Mummy is 10 bucks. So I gained already $24 off of what I spent. So this box came out to be about 75. It says here about $75 worth of stuff in this box. And I only paid 50 with free shipping. So I got $24 back of my money, of my value. So this box is great. I am definitely going to buy another box to see what I will get. Uh, most likely tomorrow I will purchase another box on Designer Toys to see what I score. I really want that bear. That bear was really cool. Uh, grown kids, let me know if maybe you uh, want to sell it to me or for anything. Uh, but this was the episode for today. If you liked me, my contents today my mystery boxes and hopefully um you enjoy the video please subscribe like comment and share my video if you like um trying to get more subscribers on my instagram by next week i'm gonna have all the details for my hundred my 800 giveaway so watch the video previous to this one and it'll tell you uh, what I will have in the box. Maybe I might add a little bit more. Maybe I'll add some candy in there. But I'm going to run a contest on my Instagram. Open to US only. Because we're having problems still with customs and everything. Uh, go to my Funko Rebel Instagram. Follow me. Let me know you're a subscriber. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I'm giving away a nice little box as a thank you to everybody once I hit 800. But next week, I will have full details how the giveaway is going to be. So make sure you follow me for the details. Thank you again for watching. This is Funko Rebel, and I'm reporting to my base. See you later.